Which pigment once surpassed the value of gold? Ultramarine is derived from the precious stone, lapis lazuli. This translates to the blue stone in Latin. Making it was a painstaking process. Considerable time and effort only yielded a small amount of pigment. Its scarcity and exceptional hue elevated it to a symbol of prestige and wealth. Patrons commissioning art would allocate a separate budget specifically for ultramarine, ensuring its exclusive use. All of these factors combined made the bold blue pigment extremely expensive, so much so that it was once considered more precious than gold when weighed gram by gram. Michelangelo reportedly couldn't afford ultramarine for his works, but Vermeer was so taken by the pigment, and his frequent use of it eventually put his family in debt. In 1826, Jean-Baptiste Guimet invented a synthetic alternative at a fraction of the price. Dubbed French ultramarine, this blend consisted of clay, soda, charcoal, quartz, and sulfur. It made an equally iconic blue. This bottle of French ultramarine is dated May 30th, 1879, 43 years after the synthetic version was invented. Turner was reported to be the first artist to use the new color. Van Gogh, Renoir, and Manet all preferred this new pigment due to its affordability, which granted them newfound creative freedom. The symbiotic relationship between artists and chemists often led to new groundbreaking innovations such as this. The result was typically an advancement in color, as synthetic pigments are more resistant to fading over time. This is a great example of how new pigments can often surpass their predecessors. Stay tuned for more items of intrigue from the Windsor & Newton Archive.